So I was playing around with setting up Netlify for a project I'm working on with the city of Boston. And I was able to go through here and I was able to finally set up a field that is a multi-value field. So for instance, if I had a new feature analysis card here, you see I've added this components grouping here and I can add new components and I can actually add several of these and I can easily drag and drop these and replace order. So this is great because we're doing a component based design for the budget.boston.gov site and we want to have a flexible layout for content editors to go and basically add different components in different orders on the page. Now the downside to the component structure that's available here is you can only add one type of component. So I wanted a breadcrumb component, an intro component, a bunch of different other components that I could choose to, to add and then reorder here. But I can only add a specific grouping here that I set up in my file. So just to switch over to my text editor, if I were to look at how I've set this up, in the admin folder, there is a file called config.yaml. And I've gone down here and I've basically added this list component. So you'll see under my feature analysis card collection, I've gone and I've added this components list widget here, and then I've added the fields. So that's not quite good enough for my use case, so I went to the community getter, and I asked the question about how we can add components to this page, and Casey Brooks was nice enough to point me over to this issue here on the Netlify CMS GitHub page. So if I were to actually go to that issue, modular content widget, I see that there is a way to basically add these different types of components with a, a select drop down list here. And then you can kind of reorder these in whatever way you want. So this is great. This is exactly what I need. Except if I scroll down, there's still some requests that are being asked of the group before this actually gets pulled into the project. So I need to find a way to actually go and reference a modified version of the project instead of the regular CDN that I'm using right now. So for instance, if I were to get out of here and I were to look at the index.html file, which is including the CMS on my project, you notice that it basically points to two, two different uh, resources. There's this CMS.CSS file on the CDN here, and then there's the CMS.js file on the CDN here. So, the first thing I kind of noticed when I go to the project here, when I go to the Netlify CMS project page, for instance, if I were to open up the base readme file for the project, there, there isn't anything that looks like cms.css or cms.js in this project. And if you actually were to go and clone this project, which I'm going to do, I'll do that right now. I'm gonna just flip over to my desktop, clear this out and I'm gonna git clone this repository. Okay, so that's done downloading. And from there, if I were to CD into the project, and I can see the files here. So now we need to do the developer setup and I didn't see this at first when I was looking around, but if you actually go and you go to the Netlify CMS and you click on contributing.markdown, it goes into the setup process for a developer. So we cloned the repository, we went into it. The first thing we need to do is just run yarn. So if I run yarn, it says it's not installed on my computer. So I'm just gonna jump over to the yarn website into their installation guide. I'm on a Ubuntu Linux computer, so I want to run this curl command. That looks okay. And then just going to run this echo. Okay. And then I'm gonna update our package manager. Okay, and then finally, just going to install yarn. So, to apt git install yarn. Okay, just gonna clear my back scroll. Now, if I run yarn, 
it went through and installed the dependencies. Again, I'm going to clear my back scroll. And if I go back over to the contributing guide, I can run npm run build. npm run build. Okay, so that build. And then you can run some tests and you can start your server with npm run start. Okay, so we have this project URL here. I can grab that. Give that a shot. Okay, so we have a Netlify CMS running here. It's the example project, that's great. And so now, if we were to inspect the element here and flip over to our network tab and reload the page, you notice that we do have a cms.js file here. We also should have a cms.css file here. And if I were to flip back over to my terminal and were to look inside here, we now have this dist folder here. So if I look inside the dist folder, this is all the stuff that actually gets deployed to the CDN. So this is your your built asset that you would actually need for the CMS. So theoretically now, I can actually come in here and I can pull this branch and I should be able to incorporate that into my project and then use that those new files. Okay, so now we're going to pull this PR down locally so we can get this functionality added to our project. Switch over to git, we can do a git pull and notice right here that this ID is reflective of the ID in the actual issue queue here. So you can get that in the URL, or you can see it down here. And if we come here, and I just want to make sure that when we pull, we are getting their changes automatically merged in to ours, in case there's any merge conflicts. So there was some merge conflicts. It's auto-merging. Great. If we do a git status. We're sitting pretty now, and you notice that we have all of these commits related to that project pulled in here. Great. So now, if we run an npm run build, we should be able to build those assets with the new code changes added into them. Okay, so that built. Now if we do an npm run start, starts up our web server and we can theoretically in this example site here go and start building with that new that new component functionality that we pulled into our project so we could do that right in our project that we're seeing here which in a second that we'll see here which is the example site okay so we could add that functionality here or we could even come in to our project and we could take the, dis the distribution folder here, take the assets from here, and reference them over in our initial project, and we can actually build with the new functionality there as well. And that's what I intend to do in this case.